So uh, on the forums, someone asked how to add like a, I guess Gears of War style, you're w running around or whatever and then you click L3 and you start sprinting and then you let go and then you stop sprinting and then you're back to walking again, like that. Uh, obviously you'd probably make it look better than that, adjust the camera or whatever. But uh, here's how you do the basics of that. Okay, so first we add a puppet. Um, and then do logic to it. So first uh, let's just make a chip to kind of uh, contain the whole thing. Let's give it an icon. Then in the controller sensor, in the second tab, you got L3. So uh, we actually want to kind of plug that in somewhere. So let's make a, a port on it. So I've added a node here, and it's defaulted to giving me a port out of the uh, left side, given an input port. So I'll plug that into the uh, L3 there. Um, cool. So first, let's uh, let's scope out and slow down the puppet. So we'll just let it walk, and that's it. And I'm just going to turn these up because that will just be easier. Um, okay. So first, let's just make a keyframe that lets us run. So we'll put walk to nothing and give us a big run speed like that and we'll have it powered while we're holding the L3 button in so walking around push the L3 and then it's uh, running around instead cool but we want to kind of turn on that functionality until some future future time so for that I'm going to have a selector a selector has many uh, channels and only one of them sends a signal at one, any one time and you can set which is the active channel in different ways and you can say oh, I want that many channels or whatever you want so here we'll only need two channels it will default to A so by default this uh, wire will be sending a signal so we don't want that we want B and we use that that channel as the kind of um, sprinting mode, sprinting mode engaged. Um, and then we will use L3 to activate that channel by sending a signal into it and then that will set, set it to B. So now if I um, go to here, so I'm walking around and then when I click L3 it gets set to channel B and then now I'm running forevermore. Um, because channel B is wired up to power the keyframe. There you go. Um, so then we want to check, we want to know when to reset it back to the channel A. Uh, for that we want to know if the left stick, so let's have another node, we'll put that one, give that one that icon, give that one that icon. Um, and we'll grab the left stick, plug that in there. Now we want to know if um, we want to know kind of how far the player is pushing the left stick. So a uh, good way of doing that is get a value slider. So this gives a if I just plug it in somewhere, you can see it's a fat wire, and it has um, like the x value and the y value of what the stick is doing but it also carries this kind of hidden default value as you can see if you plug into here um, and then I'll play test so as I push up on the stick it gets a bigger and bigger value until it gets to 1 and that's as far as I can push it on the stick and then when I let go it goes back to 0 so, um, so putting it through a value slider kind of make sure that uh, it's getting that default value. So we've got that and now we want to test 
uh, using a calculator. And uh, we could say if it's equal to zero, but I think I'll do if it's less than some small number, just to give us a little bit of leeway, a bit of wriggle room. So um, while we're pushing the stick, this won't send a signal. And then when we're not pushing the stick, when it's below this threshold, then it will send a signal. So we use that to go back to um, channel A mode, which is normal, um, no fun about without sprinting mode. So I'll click L3. Now we're running around and then I'll let go. And now I'll just push the stick again. And I'm just back to walking. Like that. And I'll let go. And back to walking. I'd like to thank Colwitzer, Kel Bjorns, Shadow of Callus, and all my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. If you'd like me to keep making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.